That dog's always at the cafe yammering. I'm trying to work here. Hey guys, it's Lauren from Hot For Food and today I'm back with another recipe. I do these when I basically have too much food in the fridge and I need to like get rid of it. So that's what we're doing. We're starting from scratch. I'll come up with an idea based on what's left over in the fridge and hopefully we'll make something delicious. Let's see what we got. We did just do a bunch of videos um, for Hot For Food and so that's why I have so much food. We just did a taco video, taco challenge. So, I mean, I think we have to go Mexican inspired because I have so many things. I have avocado, tortillas, lime, black beans, I have some tofu. I have some tomato sauce. <laughs> Cilantro. So we've got a lot of tomato stuff. I feel like I could make a tomato based sauce. We could make a soup with all this stuff because I have so many veggies I need to use up. I have leftover onions. I've pretty much got the makings of a tortilla soup, which you've actually asked for in the comments here on the channel. John's been wanting to make a tortilla soup. So I think that's probably the best idea. And then we can make our own chips because I've got all these leftover tortillas. And maybe instead of doing, obviously I would, you would put like pulled chicken in a tortilla soup traditionally. I don't have any vegan chicken, but maybe I can use this uh, smoked tofu. That'll add some flavor and we'll chop it into like little squares. Okay, let's do a tortilla soup. Now I've got veggie stock always on hand. I don't have a lot of crushed tomatoes here. This is leftover from something. Um, but I think with the stock, I can take what's left of the crushed tomatoes, add in some leftover salsas that I have in the fridge, maybe even like fresh tomato kind of crushed up in a blender to make more if we need it. So we need a big ass pot. So I'm gonna get everything chopped up first. I think when you're cooking, you should always prepare first by getting all your stuff ready and then starting the process of cooking because that's how you get behind and get all flustered and you don't know what you're doing is when you're like trying to get something ready that's supposed to be already in the pan. So especially for a soup, you can just pre-chop everything and then add them as you go. So we'll start with this uh, onion that I've got lying around, just like a couple pieces from something that I made. I'm being pretty messy with these onions, but it's about uh, a cup of diced white onion. I'm gonna add some diced red pepper just cause I have it. I think it'll give it some good flavor. I'm just gonna dice up some vine tomato and this will give us uh, more of a tomato base since I don't have a whole lot of uh, canned crushed tomatoes. These can be kind of rough as long as they're small. So instead of chicken in our vegan tortilla soup, we're gonna use tofu. And I have this brick of seasoned smoked tofu. It comes already seasoned, which is great. It smells really good. I think the smokiness is gonna add a lot of flavor to the soup. And I was gonna cut it into cubes, but I just thought like it's so firm that maybe we could shred it or grate it so it actually looks like pulled chicken. Uh, so that may be a huge mistake, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I've never grated tofu in my life. <laughs> But I think this is just like too, oh, it's like too thin. I guess we could just go like this. That looks like chicken. Take your firm tofu and pull it. Pretend like it's chicken and make it look really irregular because that looks like a big hunk of chicken. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so good. So first we're gonna add onions to the pot. It's about medium heat with one tablespoon of vegetable oil. So cook your onion for a couple minutes just to get it soft and fragrant. Then we're gonna add the red pepper. And we'll start adding some seasoning. I think the seasonings are some cumin, some chipotle chili powder. I'm gonna do a little bit of smoked paprika just to add to the smokiness. I'm gonna add a little bit of sage to kind of mimic that like chicken flavor because tortilla soup's normally made with chicken stock. Now that the seasoning's in there, I'm gonna add in the tofu to get it seasoned. So give that a good stir, get it coated in all the spices, and then add in uh, two to three cloves of minced garlic. Okay, it smells really, really good. We're gonna start adding some liquid. So I'm gonna add in those crushed tomatoes that I had, which is about a cup, and also add the diced tomatoes. So I'm gonna let the tomatoes kind of simmer with some vegetable stock, and that will hopefully like make the diced tomatoes a little more softened, like the crushed tomatoes, and kind of build our stock from there. So I'm gonna start with two cups of vegetable stock. Okay, so this is simmering, and I think at this point now we can add our black beans. I have some leftover frozen corn. I'm gonna add some lime juice, and then I should probably taste it. I haven't even tasted it yet. I'm just confident it's good. It is about a cup of cooked black beans. 
I'll add about a cup of frozen corn as well. And I'll start with the juice of half a lime. Okay, before I taste it, I'm just gonna add like a little bit of salsa that I have left over, mainly because I just wanna use it up because it's in the fridge. So there's about a quarter cup of just like mild salsa. So this can be like an optional addition. I also think you could use salsa if you don't have canned crushed tomatoes. Um, there's probably a number of ways you can do this. I think the important thing is the seasonings and then just making sure that if you are using a salsa, you're not using like a super hot salsa because it'll be too spicy. Just gotta add salt and pepper, which I haven't added yet. And it's like, I put about a teaspoon of chipotle chili and it's the perfect amount of spice for me. It's like a little spicy, but not too spicy. And it definitely needs more lime juice. So I'm gonna go with another half of a lime. So that's a whole lime. I would start with maybe half a teaspoon of salt and only a quarter teaspoon of pepper, unless you want it spicier. The other thing I think I need to add is just a little bit of sweetness to the soup. So we'll add about one to two teaspoons of coconut sugar. I think that's all it really needs to kind of make the flavor a little more rich tasting. You know, look up tortilla soup and you'll see pictures of the soup, like what we made with, you know, shreds of cheese, maybe some sour cream, maybe some sliced avocado, green onion, and then usually there's like a nice little rustic pile of like tortilla corn chips, like little strips or chips on the side. But this is hot for food and we don't wanna just, you know, create a regular recipe that looks like all the other ones. We could make those like rolled up tortilla things with cheese inside and then it could be like a tortilla, like a, what are they called? Are these called taquitos? They're like really thinly round up tortillas with cheese in the middle and then these could be like on top of the soup like, it's almost like a cheese and cracker but Mexican style or like a grilled cheese Mexican style but it still incorporates the tortilla soup aspect. I can already picture the, the photo so let's, let's do that. Oh, I have a really good idea guys. So I have this ranch dip. This is all left over from our uh, taco challenge video. So I have jalapeno ranch. So if I spread jalapeno ranch on this thing, then put the cheese on, it'll really make it stick because I feel like the cheese is gonna fall out. Then roll them really tightly, then fry them. I have no clue if this is gonna work, guys. We're just giving it a shot. Okay. Okay, we're gonna fry these and it could be a complete disaster. I've decided to put toothpicks just in case because I'm afraid they're gonna unroll. Ooh. Okay, so I've got all my toppings ready for the soup, but we need to try these thingies first. So these are really good. If someone who's like a real chef is watching, they're probably thinking that I deep fried these wrong. They're a little irregular shaped. They might be a little oily. But they're amazing. I would say it's a success. Let's plate this soup. vegan tortilla soup and cheesy taquitos. This is like an amazing vegan meal that we pulled out of thin air. We had a little bit of inspiration. We pulled out what was in the fridge and I'm so proud of myself right now. I can't even believe that I made these taquitos. <laughs> I'm more excited about these than the soup. Oh my God. These are ridiculous. So this is how you're meant to eat this soup, is dunk that taquito in your soup. Oh my God. This might be the best thing I've ever made. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. It's so good. It tastes like fried cheese. Have you ever had fried cheese? These little crispy bits at the end. Oh my God. This is stupid. Okay. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten all day. I think this could win a competition. For one thing, you can't even tell that that's friggin' tofu. I'm done, we're done, we're quitting, this is it. We don't need to cook anymore. 
a lot easier for me. We can't get any better than this. That is how you do recipe. You start from scratch, you get inspired, you take what's in your fridge already, and you just make something awesome. That's what we do here at Hot For Food every single Wednesday. If you like what you see, subscribe, please. There's a little button in the bottom corner of your screen. There's also a link in the description below. Um, you can get this full recipe at the link in the description as well. I've sorted it all out, the ingredients, what you need, and uh, give it a try. If you've never made taquitos, if you've never made tortilla soup, this is your recipe. Keep binge watching Hot For Food. We love you guys, you leave great comments and feedback, and thank you so much for watching. Um, find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Hot For Food, look us up. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna eat this whole thing now.